So the most important thing to do is to follow the instructions your doctor has given you for after surgery care. Hi Maureen, hi, I'm Susan, remember me. Alrighty, we're gonna get you ready to go home today, okay? okay. I'm gonna shut the curtain here. When your surgery is complete, you will be moved to a recovery area where your heart and breathing rate, your oxygen level, blood pressure and urine output will be watched. Things that we want to let you know about will start with a pain medication. Most people will be concerned about the level of pain that they have after surgery and it is important to know that we will be providing you with some form of medicine to help control that pain. Do you feel anything at all right now? Nothing. Okay. They put that local anesthetic in there. Um, then on top of that, they put the glue, the surgical glue. And on top of that, they have a piece of gauze and then the, your pink surgical bra. Okay. okay. One of the other questions that should be addressed with you before you have your operation is the care of your incisions or possibly even the drains that you may wake up with. Wound care. We would like you to stay in this post-surgical bra um, all day for the first week, okay? When you're showering, you may take it off. Put it back on all the time. It helps with compression, it helps with support, okay? In 48 hours, so Thursday evening, Thursday afternoon, you may take off the bra, take off the gauze. Remember, you're gonna have that purple glue over the top of the incision that you can shower with, okay? And then put, pat it off. You can soap up like you normally do. Um, shampoo, whatever, over the top of, of the incision and then rinse it off. No scrubbing it, no washing it, just let yeah. it go over the top and then put the bra back on afterwards. You should not use deodorant under the surgical arm for several weeks until the incisions are healed. We had already told you earlier, it was your first question when you woke up, do you have a drain? You do not have a drain. I asked that? You did, right when you woke up. See, mm -hmm. that's my worry. <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing. See, sometimes we wake up and think of the thing that was Isn't on our it? mind when uh, we went in. Yeah. But you do not have a drain. Good. Okay. The drain is a plastic tube inserted into the surgical site with a bulb at the end. The bulb is squeezed flat and inflates as it suctions drainage away from the wound. You need to empty the drain several times a day or when it is full and write down the amount of drainage each time you empty the drain. After surgery, you may feel tired and possibly confused. You may need to rely on family, friends, and coworkers for additional support. It's important to get out of bed and walk around at least every two hours. You may not do any heavy lifting, okay, with, with either arm until she tells you you can, okay. okay? Very important. You may do normal activities with your arm. So if you drink okay. your coffee with that arm, that's fine, okay? Nothing more than that, mm -hmm. all right? Watch pushing doors open. Be careful pushing yourself up from seated positions. Just be very careful with that side. Mm -hmm. No exercising for seven to 10 days after surgery. Oh, good. That's what it says. Hey, you got a free pass, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's in writing, too, okay? All right. All right. Yay. So she said just a, a, she'll address your activity level um, at your post-op visit on the 20th. Okay. okay. The recommendation is that you do not drive a car for 24 hours, no operating any big machinery, and no legal decisions or alcohol for 24 hours until it's oh, totally out of your system. Okay. okay? All right. And what kind of questions do you have for me? Call your surgeon if you have more than eight ounces or 240 milliliters of drainage over a 24 hour period, a fever over 101 degrees Fahrenheit, pain that is not controlled with pain medication, loss of appetite, changes in menstrual periods, blurred vision, dizziness or shortness of breath, coughing or hoarseness, headaches or digestive problems that don't go away. After we receive the reports from your operation that demonstrate that no further surgery is necessary, it will be time to move on to the other treatments for your breast cancer. Radiation before surgery can destroy cancer cells which are growing rapidly. Post-operative radiation therapy can help destroy any cancer cells still remaining after surgery and stop the cancer from returning. Some of the side effects from radiation therapy may include redness or soreness to the area of skin that is being treated. And some women may complain of fatigue or tiredness towards the end of their therapy. Chemotherapy drugs target the division and activity of cancer cells to kill them. The reason to use chemotherapy even after you've had an operation is to treat 
any breast cancer cells that may have spread beyond the breast and lymph nodes already that need to be killed off or even to prevent them from being able to plant anywhere else. Patients often experience side effects from chemotherapy drugs like fatigue, nausea and vomiting, hair loss, loss of appetite and diarrhea due to the harm caused to normal cells. Hormone therapy stops the growth of tumors that need hormones like estrogen and progesterone to grow. Targeted therapies attack certain parts of cancer cells that make them different from other cells. They may also target other cells that help cancer cells grow. You may be asked to participate in a research study or clinical trial. These trials study if new medications, procedures, or devices are safe and effective. Clinical trials may help you to access new experimental treatments. They may also give you a chance to help other patients in the future. <laughs> All right. Watch your head going in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank, okay. Good luck to you, Marina. Thank you so much.